Alright, time for a comparison. I'm passing on most of the Ragnarok wave, I don't care too much for Thor's short hair design, I don't like the look for Valkyrie, I don't care for the Hulk, I don't like Loki's blue outfit. Hela on the other hand looks incredible and looks like she'll be part of this surprisingly small group that is the good MCU villains club. So since I don't like Loki's design and I already have the Avengers version, then why did I buy him? Because Hasbro has in recent years upped their sculpts dramatically and now they're even going into Japanese import figure face printing technology, meaning the face paint will be more consistent and also more detailed as a whole. Of the two seconds of having the new Loki in hand, I can definitely say that the new one blows the old one out of the water in terms of likeness. This looks like a mini Hot Toys figure. I used to think the old one had a pretty decent likeness, but after seeing the new one I can't see a trace of Hiddleston in the Avengers figure. Now, I won't bother with comparing articulation because Marvel Legends has pretty much the same articulation nowadays. Let's just say that they both do as well as you expect them to do since both their skirt pieces are made of flexible rubber. The new figure is also taller and slightly thicker. Unfortunately, the head on the new Loki figure is where the good stuff ends. This is because the new Loki has the worst cape I've ever encountered on an action figure. The pegs that are supposed to plug into his shoulders are way too gummy and misshapen to actually stay in place, so the cape falls off at the slightest touch. So what about a head swap then? Seeing as the old figure has a better outfit, it seems like a no-brainer to put the new head onto that body, but unfortunately it's not possible without mods which I'll probably make a video about later. It does look pretty incredible though from a non-functional point of view. Last thing I'll talk about is that unfortunately the old helmet doesn't fit on the new head either. The new head is a lot wider than the old one, so the cheek guards doesn't look right. Oh, and one last thing. Use of left field on the Fush came up with the idea to simply put an old Avengers coat onto the new figure. It works surprisingly well, but I still wish green was the main color of his Ragnarok outfit. I hope you enjoyed.